with Sarah. 7 News at 5.30. Cass. Mm. Cass, you've mm. done it again. Mm. You fell asleep in the office. Mm. Does the word workaholic mean anything to you? Uh. Mm. Oh, hi, baby. <laughs> oh, you came all the way over here to wake me up? How oh, sweet. What's for breakfast? I'm not being sweet, and I'm not serving breakfast. I'm serving notice. I'm getting very tired of waking up alone in my bed every morning after sleeping alone in my bed every night. I'm sorry, baby. I promise that after this case is over, I'm going to take you away on a second honeymoon. And I also promise that you won't spend one moment in bed alone, or, or sleeping for that matter. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm not sure I can wait that long. Mm. Would you consider getting a... Uh, Head start on that honeymoon. I'll take it under advisement. Mm -hmm. Immediately. Mm. Cass. Mm. Cass, wake up. Oh. Come on. Mm. Cass, what are you doing? What are you doing up? Your mother said you're gonna sleep in this morning. I tried. <laughs> I couldn't. What's wrong? Dreams. Bad ones. Do you want to talk about it? No. No, actually, I would rather just forget about it. What is that? Oh, I think that's something that Rachel's working on. And she got freaked out. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen that face. You've seen Jordan Stark? Where, Amanda? In my dreams. What? Amanda, here, why don't you sit I'll get down? you some no, water, I'm okay? I'm fine, really, I am. I just, I got a little freaked out, that's all. You've never met Jordan Stark. How do you suppose you could see him in your dreams? I don't know. Well, you've seen the sculpture, maybe you were projecting. Mom, I've never seen that. And that is definitely the face that was in my dream. Well, what happens in these dreams? <sighs> they're, they're different. They're always different. The one last night, I was in this... This garden, it was beautiful and, and green, but there was still something... What? Dangerous, somehow. And Jordan Stark, or whoever, was there, but he, he wasn't dangerous. He was, he was caring, he was almost loving towards me. It doesn't sound like the Jordan Stark I know. Oh, but then there's other dreams where he scares me. The, the, where it seems like he's trying to to kill me. But I know all this sounds crazy. I'm dreaming about somebody I've never even met, but it's so real. Well, it's not. And nothing's gonna happen to you, I swear. We're all working on this. Working on what? What are you talking about? What's going on? Nothing. Nothing. We're just trying to clear up some questions about Jordan Stark. How? Well, first of all, we're going to, uh, we're going to get the painting back from David. But, Dave, why are you hassling David when Jordan is the one that we're all concerned? I know what this is. This is Cameron's idea, isn't it? Cameron can't seem to get out of the fantasy that David is the big bad wolf. I don't trust the guy. You don't even know the man. And why are the two of you listening to Cameron? We're not making any judgments, Amanda. 
We're starting with the painting and hoping that it fills in some gaps. For whom? For David or for Jordan? Which one is the target here anyway? Mr. Halliday's on the phone. He won't be able to come by. He forgot about an important appointment that he and Miss Corey have with Jordan Stark. Figures. And he was wondering if you would meet him at Lumina and should he send a car for you? I will meet him there, yes. Thank you. I don't need a car. Thank you, Claudia. What? You're going to go over to Stark? I mean, I'm not letting you get anywhere near Stark, or David for that matter. What on earth this are you thinking? Okay, look, this idea. is too bad. This little committee is going to have to run someone else's life. Because right now, I'm taking mine back. We are not trying to run your life. We have a right to be concerned. Strange things have been happening to this family, and most recently to you. That's exactly why I need to go and talk to Jordan Stark. If he is messing with me, I'm going to be the one to stop it. And if I want to take David with me, that is up to me, not you. You're not keeping me away. Now, I'm not going to let you go to Stark's office. You cannot come along. He specifically requested that you not be there because you caused a commotion the last right, time. Amanda, I'll Please go with you. Please don't miss this okay? up for me. I want to go with David. Amanda, we agreed this family was not going to go anywhere unless another person in this family went with them. Now you take Matthew. All right. You're all unbelievable. How, how did this get so messed up? I mean, I, I do investigating for a living. I should be going, not Matt. You are antagonizing Amanda. With any luck, Matthew will be able to keep anything from happening to her. We don't know that for sure. We don't know what's gonna happen. Thanks a lot, Cameron. I got this feeling I'm in it is deep down in my bones. This is just not gonna be good. What's in the backpack? Spare socks and any soda in aluminum cans. No. Don't you like the environment? Sure. Cans love the environment. A recycled aluminum can comes right back as a can again and again. Most drink containers don't do that. For outdoor types like you and me, that's something to consider. The message is clear next time. Buy cans. Double lunch! Kidding you. Here they come. Surprise! Your old favorite pepperoni. Oh. I can't eat that now. Oh. This can't be Charlie. I didn't take my Pepsi. I gotta wait. Then we all wait. Take my Tagamet. You could eat now. Tagamet introduces a better way to avoid heartburn. Not before, not after, now. Now you can take Tagamet right when you're gonna eat and still prevent heartburn. Same old Charlie. With Tagamet, you can eat like a kid again. I hate it when I open the dishwasher, pull out dishes, and they're not clean. The food gets stuck in the fork. Oh, eggs. Eggs are bad. Electrosol tabs. A dual-action tablet. With baking soda. The blue layer breaks down stubborn food stains. That's neat. The white layer gently scrubs your dishes till they shine. Working together, they're a great team. Very cool. Electrosol tabs. That's great. We only use Electrosol tabs. We've thrown our old detergent out. Wow, look at this dish. Electrosol tabs, the next dimension of clean. Guess what? I love to play finders keepers. I find the right shampoo, I keep my color. Thanks to Color Vive Shampoo by L'Oreal. Now here comes the science bit. Concentrate. Color Vive is formulated with a UV filter to protect and revitalize every strand. That's why my color stays truer, longer, my hair healthier. With Color Vive by L'Oreal. And I'm worth it. New Colgate Total Fresh Stripe fights cavities, tartar, plaque, gingivitis, and bad breath all day long with a minty swirl of gel. You owe it to your mouth to try it. New Colgate Total Fresh Stripe, the brushing that works between brushings. It's here! Huggies Supreme Care Baby Wipes! With ripple soft texture to clean like no other wipe and super thickness and strength, it's a real life superhero! Uh, look about what happened earlier. Oh, um, don't worry about sorry. it. Sorry. Uh, yeah, no, you, you explain and I understand. It's fine. But, um... Yes? I, I think we need to decide what I should do. I, believe me, Cass, I never meant for any of this to happen. I was on my way out of town for Pete's sake, and the only thing that surprised me more than running into Charlie at Carlino's was how much she seemed to like me. I'm not blaming you. You sure? 
What are you thinking? I'm thinking the situation was a hell of a lot simpler before Charlie met you. She made it quite clear that she wants you to stay. Gun to your head, what's your gut instinct? Annie, I think it's better if you go. I don't know what kind of harm it's doing her to have you around. Then I'll go. The only thing is, when she told me about you, I haven't seen that look in my little girl's eyes since before Frankie died, and um, it was really great. Look, um, I'm just gonna throw this out here, okay? We both know that no one is ever going to take Frankie's place. But it seems to me that meeting me has kicked up a lot of feelings for Charlie. I unresolved stuff, maybe. And, you know, a loss like that takes time to get over for, for anyone, but, but a kid especially. And uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is maybe it makes sense for me to stick around for a while to help Charlie deal, and then I'll go. But it's absolutely your call. You say what you want, and I'll do it. Cameron, huh? I didn't know you were still here. Yeah, I thought I'd hang around for a little while until Matthew and Amanda got back from their little meeting with Stark. You know, I understand how worried you are, and I don't blame you. I know that Jordan Stark is no one to take lightly, but hey, we're going to hope for the best. Yeah. Listen, uh, I hate to bring this up, but um, that little message I left you, did you get the information I asked for? Oh, yeah, I, um, I almost forgot. I'm sorry. Uh, that's everything on Ann O'Donnell. Thank you. I'm going to go talk to Rachel. I want to see if she's heard anything. Okay. Oh. oh, you cannot mess with this girl's instincts. So, Miss Ann O'Donnell, you look like you're hiding something after all. Rachel, heard anything? No, actually, that was Joe. I, I was trying to find out about Paulina. Well, what's going on with her now? She's being questioned. I hope this doesn't last all day. Yeah, I know what that feels like. I hate waiting. Well, don't worry about Amanda and, and Matthew. They probably haven't even gotten to Starks yet. I can't just wait. We have to do something. I hear you. Got to do something. I think I found out what it is. To get you to back off a restraining Excuse order? Excuse me for wanting to make sure you're safe. Safe is one thing. Smothering me is another. Chill out. I'm fine. Oh, you're fine? That's exactly what I said when I went in there and the guy fried my brain. I'm not walking into this blind man. I know what he's capable just, of. Just don't go in there. Miss Corey, Mr. Stark is expecting you, but he was only expecting you and Mr. Halliday. Yes, I understand. Where is Mr. Halliday? I don't know. I assume on route. Uh, if you'd rather wait for him, then... No. No, actually, I would like to see Mr. Stark now, and Mr. Halliday can join us when he gets here. Fine, this way. Amanda. Matt? No. That will be all, Miss Allen. Over here, Miss Corey. How may I help you? You could start by turning around so I could see your face. Are you prepared for what you'll see? We'll find out, won't we? Fair enough. Shock? Only because it's a face that I've seen in my dreams, which is one of the reasons that I'm here. How can I be dreaming about someone that I've never even met? I'm not an expert on dreams, Miss Corey, but in your case, I'll hazard a guess. Have you ever heard of osmosis, the diffusion of one fluid through a porous partition into another fluid? Yes, I'm familiar with it. Well. I believe we can apply that principle 
to our brains as well. When we are inundated with a constant flow of information, our brain absorbs it through the partition of awareness from conscious into unconscious, from where, in turn, it can reappear to us in dreams. Interesting theory. Not a theory, Miss Corey. Science. As in your case, your family has inundated you with negative information about me. Your subconscious has taken that information and created an image which appears to you in your dreams. So, in your dreams, am I a negative force or a benevolent one? Come, Miss Corey. I know you remember. A little of both, actually. There were times when it seemed that you wanted to hurt me, and then times when... It, when you... It seemed as if I cared for you. And how do you feel now that we're face to face? I'm not sure. I find it fascinating that after all the negative things you've heard, part of your subconscious created a positive image of me. The jury is still out, Mr. Stark. Perhaps. But understand this. You and your family are different. You see things they cannot. Trust yourself, not those who would dictate to you. Use your own judgment when you come to judge me. And when you try to see who I am, don't use your eyes. Use your heart and your soul. And then, then tell me what you see. If you're looking for real heavy rain, look no further than the Push Washington. For real big trees, Auric, California. Real early risers, Oligosh, Maine. And for real ranch dressing, Hidden Valley. Made from the original recipe, it's how ranch is supposed to taste. Hidden Valley, we're keeping it real. My allergies make me a chew. Presenting Children's Tylenol Allergy D. Specially formulated to provide complete relief of your child's allergy symptoms. Children's Tylenol Allergy D. Everything you need. Kids' favorite characters from Teletubbies are now at Burger King. There's six beanbag finger puppets to collect in all. Get one in every tasty Kids Club hamburger meal you buy. Still just $1.99. And try a Teletubbies favorite, Tubby Custard from Jell-O, only at Burger King. When you have it your way, it just tastes better. This season, I am showing my commitment to fight breast cancer. For Concept Cure, I designed the Chevrolet Cavalier. You can win. Call and enter. Because there is nothing stylish about breast cancer. Hey, uh, pass the Arbor Mist? <laughs> no way. <laughs> this is our drink. How about Best Dive gets an Arbor Mist? You can do better than that. <laughs> Arbor Mist. Peach Chardonnay. Strawberry White Zinfandel. <laughs> That deserves an arbor mist. Maybe two. Great tasting wine, a splash of fruit. Can't resist the mist. Tonight, NBC starts with Friends and Frasier. First, guess who has a crush on? Joey. <laughs> then a Tuesday Frasier with Woody. My cousins get married. Which is your cousin, the bride or the groom? Well, actually, both are. Then the Just Shoot Me personal trainer from hell. I'll never give up on you. Never. Well, let's just. Yeah! And Third Rock goes talk show crazy. Shut your mouth. Why don't you make me? Get off my NBC Tonight starts with Friends and Frasier. I don't know what to tell you. I'm really stumped. I'm just trying to do what's best for my kid, but I, I, don't, I don't know what that is right now. You know, people can say whatever they want about me, but I'm a good father. And I've really worked hard to become one. I've read every parenting book there is. I've gone to seminars. I've gone to grief counseling. I've picked the brain of every single parent there is. 
But there's nothing out there to tell you what to do when someone shows up who looks like the mother your kid would give her eye teeth to bring back to life again. I'm flying by the seat of my pants, and Charlie deserves better than that. Listen, you have to stop being so hard on yourself. You are a great father, and you're going to make the right call. Well, I sure hope so. I guess what I'm saying is I need a little more time with this. That's fine. That's fine. I'll, I'll leave you alone with it for a while. Oh, um, I wanted to say to you, uh, about your brief on Paulina Carlino. I think that you'd have a better shot at reducing her time if you were to change your self-defense argument to imperfect self-defense rather than perfect. Why? The prosecution can argue that given Mayor Harrison's disabled condition, Ms. Carlino's fear that her life was in danger was not a reasonable fear, and they could throw your argument right out. I think it's a long shot. Well, so did the attorneys for Milo Michaels versus the state of Minnesota. And then the judge undermined their self-defense argument during jury instructions, and I believe he got 25 years when whoa, the verdict came down. Whoa, 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 where is this coming from? What do you mean? No, what do you mean? Telling me that you're a paralegal when it's quite obvious that you're an attorney and a damn shrewd one at that. Amanda, are you all right? I'm fine. You don't look fine. Listen, if you're trying to do to her what you did to me, you can forget about it. Let's get the hell out. Mr. Corey, I know it's unpleasant taking responsibility for poor choices. I might be unhappy too if women like Sophia Carlino and Lila Roberts walked out of my life forever because of my mistakes. But might I suggest that running your sister's life is a poor way to answer those frustrations? My sister's been running her life for a long time. She can do that all by herself. She doesn't need my help. Really? Yeah. Then why won't you let her take a meeting by herself? Why do you and your mother and Cameron Sinclair spend every waking hour trying to decide how to protect her? Hmm? Protect her from what? Protect her from living her life? Miss Corey, am I being unfair? No, no, you're right. Listen, he is the enemy, Amanda. Not us. Excuse me, sir, but Mr. Halliday just called, and he's had car trouble and will be delayed, I'm afraid. Oh, what a pity. I do hope the delay is indefinite. I'm sorry. That was ungracious of me. But I find Mr. Halliday a little bit stiff and, quite frankly, not to be trusted. Yes? Oh, uh, yes, one moment. Uh, Mr. Stark, I believe you want to take this call in private. I'm sorry? Will you excuse me for a moment? Oh, sure. Go right ahead. Your uh, boss is sticking to a story that he had nothing to do with manipulating my unconscious. I'm starting to believe him. I would actually like to take a look at your lab again and just make sure everything's on the up and up. I'm sure he wouldn't mind, would he? Well, with my supervision, I I'm sure he wouldn't. After you. Oh, after you. Please. I've wired the first installment to your account. You continue to keep me appraised of Amanda Corey's movements, and I'll continue to pay you and keep warning her against David Halliday. I did my best here, but I don't want to take any chances. The last thing we need is for Amanda Corey to turn to the one man who can destroy all of our plans. Yeah, that's the last thing we want. Okay. Miss Corey, I thought I heard you out here. I'm sorry for the interruption. I've got to go. Oh, really? That's too bad. I was enjoying our first meeting. But as you wish. And remember what I said. Trust no one but yourself. Man, what's wrong? If you did anything to hurt her, I'll kill you. Okay, I need a word for yummy. Ice cream? Nope, won't fit. French fries? Oh, here it is. What? Friendlies. Oh, that was gonna be my next guess. <laughs> At Friendlies, we know it's the simple pleasures that make life sweet. Like our happy ending Sunday, just 99 cents. When you order any of our famous super melts, stacked high and layered with tasty melting cheese. Is it good? Nope. Huh? It's yummy. <laughs> I wanted to consolidate my bills. You know, 
so I could spread the payments out. I'm using one credit card to pay off another. <laughs> well, you know the game, robbing Peter to pay Paul. We really needed to get away, but we also really loaded up the credit cards. Ever since the divorce, it seems I've gone nowhere fast. Childcare went up again. Falling behind on bills can happen to anyone. Get back on track without bankruptcy. Call Consumer Credit Counseling Service. Don't wait. Call. I make it, I spend it. And all I could say was like, oh my God, he's so beautiful. We arrived at the hospital. He was in a coma. I just wanted to provide a decent life for my you kids. You eventually get real jobs and real lives. And iVillage.com, the number one women's network online. Real solutions for real women. There is a minute in each morning where a full day of being big and strong on the outside starts off first with being big and strong on the inside. That minute was made for Minute Maid. A taste as fresh and ripe as morning itself. Minute Maid Premium with Calcium. Help keep your bones big and strong and squeeze the day. Paying too much for car insurance isn't any smarter. GEICO. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Am I on? <clears throat> GEICO Direct could save you hundreds of dollars on car insurance. Result? Smaller bill. GEICO. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more. Once upon a starry night, I had a bulky diaper that didn't fit right. Just then, something new, like out of a dream. A new, better-fitting Huggy Supreme. A narrower middle, a new contour. Form-fitting leg elastics, and what's more, a concentrated absorbent core. And a fit to stop leaks like never before. For flexibility, Huggies is virtually unmatched. And that's the truth. No strings attached. From NBC Motion Pictures, a runaway train carrying a Russian atomic bomb. All citizens are advised to evacuate. An entire city in its path. How powerful a bomb are we talking about here? In the face of danger. Let's derail now. Take our chances. Get those people out of it. Courage is born. I'm going to try to open it up. He's right in the middle of it. Rob Lowe in a powerful world premiere. Oh, my God. Atomic Train, NBC Sunday, 9, 8 Central. Yes, I'm a lawyer. Or I was one. Why didn't you tell me? Too much, uh, shame. Too much pain. What happened? <laughs> Would you believe that I was a defense attorney? Yeah, and a pretty good one, I bet. Oh, I was good, real good. Shrewd, as you say. And then I took on a murder case. Guy was guilty as hell. I knew it. Everybody knew it. But you were so good, you got him off. On a technicality. And then that guy went out and strangled several other young women whose whole lives were ahead of them. And uh, I could never forgive myself. So I quit. I'm sorry. Yeah. Me too. Hey, yeah, you're still here. Yeah. So did you decide to stay in town? Uh, well, my, uh, my plans are still up in the air a bit. I vote for staying. <laughs> hey, excuse me. Oh, Do I get hello? Hi. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> oh, fine, fine, yeah. Is there any compelling reason why you're not in school? Half day, I told you. Oh, oh, right, right, I forgot. So you're killing time? No, I was wondering if I could borrow some money. Oh, money for what? Just clothing kind of stuff. Clothing kind of stuff? Never mind, I don't have to get it today. Well, I'm not saying I'm not, saying I'm not going to give you any money. I, I just want to know what you're going to spend it on. I told you. Clothes? What kind of clothes? Do you have to know everything? Well, I have to know you're not going out to get those baggy jeans you can stick five kids into. They look terrible on everybody. Are you? No. Will you stop staring at me? I'm not going to tell you, OK? I guess, may, may I have a moment with Charlie, please? Oh, great. A conspiracy of females. No problem. Okay. Uh, be my guest. Charlie. Are, uh, are we talking underwear here? Yeah, the, the, the strappy kind that goes around your chest area. Yeah. Now do you see why I didn't want to tell? Absolutely. Okay. Let me take care of this. Cass? Yes? 
Uh, your little girl is getting to be a grown-up girl. Yes. And she needs to buy things that grown-up girls wear. Oh. Ah. From the lingerie department. Oh, you cannot be this dense, I beg you, please. Oh. Uh, oh, of course. Um, uh, sure, honey. Uh, is a hundred enough? <laughs> Thanks. Sure, sure. Uh, you know, Kaz, I, I happen to have a little time on my hands. Would you mind if I took Charlie shopping? Oh, I'd be eternally grateful. Wait, uh, that okay with you? Definitely. Okay. okay. All right. Dad. Okay, honey. Um, you two kids have okay. fun. We will. dreaming because I can't believe that I just saw what I saw could have sworn that I saw Anne with Charlie but that's not right is it hi because the cast Winthrop I know would never let his daughter go traipsing off with a fraud and a liar and Lord knows what else a serial killer for all we know what are you talking about this this is the skinny on Miss Anne O'Donnell which proves that she is nothing but trouble Amanda, finally. What happened with the meeting with Stark? You'd like to know, or is it that you already do? What do you mean? Forget it. I'm tired. I'm gonna go lay down. Amanda, what happened, honey? Okay. Jonah must have did some kind of number on her, right? No, she says no, but she's pretty upset when we left. I think he's playing games. He's trying to convince her that we're the problem. Well, that's his M.O. Yeah. Where is David for all of this? Car trouble. He didn't show up. Yeah, well, that figures. Look, we got to come up with a plan. We need a plan on how to deal with Stark and with Halliday, too. Rachel, think about it. First, he cancels. Then he doesn't show up to the meeting because, because he has car trouble? I mean, please. Yeah, I think he's right. I mean, this Halliday guy, he's, he's obviously avoiding something. Well, we got to push him to get that painting back. I don't believe it's well, true. Your mother and I, we have another little project. They are plotting against me. There's only one person you can trust. Can you really look good on the outside if you don't feel beautiful on the inside? I like feeling pretty. I like feeling feminine. And most of all, I like when things fit the way they're supposed to. The new Flora Lace Collection by Delicates at the J.C. Penney Semi-Annual Lingerie Sale. Inspired by nature. Mother nature. <laughs> Funny thing. Men think we buy lingerie just for them. We're observing a cookout catastrophe. I'm going in. For a complete meal on the grill, try Reynolds Hot Bags. Just place everything in the foil bag. It seals in the flavor. Cleanup's easy, too. Reynolds Hot Bags, making good food better. Hola. You can make Taco Bell at home with Taco Bell Home Originals. Hey, let's make some tacos. Uh, you have cable, right? The best way to stop suffering from allergies is never to start. This is nasal crom. You heard right. Nasal crom. It's allergy prevention. Nasal crom doesn't just relieve allergies. It flat out prevents them, preventing the natural defenses in your nose from going haywire. So you can live like a person with no allergies. Nasal crom's like nothing else. No drowsiness, no jitters, no dependency. Nasal crom. The best way to stop suffering is never to start. Tonight, trapped in China, Americans who went there to adopt children, now caught in the middle of a crisis. When will they get out? NBC Nightly News tonight. Okay, I need a word for yummy. Ice cream? Nope, won't fit. French fries? Oh, here it is. What? Friendlies. Oh, that was going to be my next guess. <laughs> At Friendlies, we know it's the simple pleasures that make life sweet. Like our happy ending Sunday, just 99 cents. When you order any of our famous super melts, stacked high and layered with tasty melting cheese. Is it good? Nope. Huh? 
It's yummy. <laughs> I wanted to consolidate my bills. You know, so I could spread the payments out. I'm using one credit card to pay off another. <laughs> well, you know the game, robbing Peter to pay Paul. We really needed to get away, but we also really loaded up the credit cards. Ever since the divorce, it seems I've gone nowhere fast. Child care went up again. Falling behind on bills can happen to anyone. Get back on track without bankruptcy. Call Consumer Credit Counseling Service. Don't wait. Call. Sky 7, on top of breaking news. Live from Sky 7, which is... Better pictures, superior details. Sky 7 pictures... Of Sky 7, only on the news station, 7 News. Star Wars droid R2-D2 speaks exclusively with Sarah. 7 News at 5.30. Okay. Well, you spend a lot of time in the conference room. I'm working on a case, remember? And that involves mm -hmm. communicating with certain attorneys. Uh, I had no choice, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. So what's this about Ann O'Donnell? Oh, nothing. Just that uh, she was never a cleaning lady, nor did I personally believe that she ever was. Nor has she ever been a paralegal. Uh, may I? Let me see now. I'm getting that she was a former hotshot defense attorney who botched a murder case and, and stopped practicing law. How did you do that? And told me. Here. She told you? Yeah. Well, she's probably just doing damage control. Lila, Look, honey. Paz, I know the type. I've seen it a million times. Smooth operator, sneaky, knows how to bob and weave, tell a few lies mixed with a, a little bit of truth, and in the end, you end up getting burned. Honey, I think you are overreacting here. Yes, she held back telling me aspects of her life that uh -huh. were very painful to oh, discuss. Oh, very painful, let me guess. She had a nice emotional scene with you But about that it, doesn't huh? make her a smooth operator. Lila, she, she was on her way out of town. She ran into Charlie by accident. <laughs> you have got to be the most naive lawyer that ever passed the bar. Well, you're certainly not letting anybody win the top prize for paranoid fiancé. Look, she's not, she's not conspiring to ruin your life. No, then why is she still in town? And why aren't you upset about it? I am, believe me. Oh. It was bad enough that you had to meet her, but now that Charlie has seen her, I've got a huge problem on my hands. Oh, you and me both. Because I don't see you saying, you know what, Pumpkin, you're right. That woman should leave town as fast as her skinny legs can carry her. You know what, Pumpkin, I would love to, but it's not that simple now that Charlie is involved. <sighs> now, I honestly believe that there's nothing sinister about Anne, but I do understand why you're so upset. Look, Pumpkin, I'm... Trying to prepare for a major case. Could you be absolutely wonderful and cut me some slack, please? Well, I can try. But I'm telling you, this is not over. I, I mean, this Anne O'Donnell, whether you like it or not, is warming her way into our lives, Cass. And God knows how much damage she's gonna do before this is all done. I was just about to call you. Listen, I'm sorry I missed that meeting with Stark, but the tow truck just took it's forever just to get It's just as well there. that you didn't get there. I probably found out more that way, even though I wish I hadn't. What? What'd you find out? Who my real friends are. What? Come in, come in. I'm sorry. Listen, tell me, what happened? What, did he say something? Did he do something? I overheard Jordan Stark in a private conversation with the speakerphone. He was talking to someone about paying them to spy on me. Spy on it's you? It's worse. He was talking to Cameron. What? That's insane. Jordan was saying that he didn't want anything to go wrong with the plans that they had, and I heard Cameron agreeing with him. Oh, this is unbelievable. It's worse than any of the bad dreams that I think I've had. I don't understand why Cameron would work with Stark. I mean, I know that we ended on bad terms, but this... Amanda, I am so sorry. I don't know why he would betray me like this. He keeps saying that he loves me and that he would never hurt me. I just, I just don't, I don't get it. Amanda, the last thing I want to do is rub salt in this wound. 
But the fact is, Cameron is an unstable young man. You know what he did to his father, and it may have happened a long time ago, but an act like that leaves scars. No healthy person would get involved with another woman and then lie to you about it the way he did. He's, oh, I don't know, he's probably trying to get back to you for not forgiving what can't be forgiven. He thought you'd get back together, and when you didn't, he... Maybe, I don't know. I just, I wish I knew what he and Jordan Stark were up to. I know one thing. I can't trust anyone. Not Cameron, not my family. Well, clearly not Stark. Oh, I don't, part of this is my fault. I should have figured it out a long time ago. But there's no way that you could have known. Well, Amanda, I'm sorry. But I didn't trust Cameron from the day I met him, but I... I didn't want to seem as if I was trying to interfere with your life. But I should have asserted myself. Well, rest assured, from here on in, I'm going to take matters in my own hands concerning Cameron and Jordan Stark. Listen, why don't I... Why don't I get some rest, and I'll, I'll go take care of that right now. No, no, please, just... I, I'm, I'm so confused, just... I need you. Please stay. I need you so much. Amanda, you just said the magic words. Of course I'll stay. It's time. Time for your heartburn to kick in because your heartburn relief gave out. It happens two or more days a week, even though you've treated it and changed your diet. That frequent, persistent heartburn may be due to acid reflux disease, potentially serious. It's Prilosec time. Time to see your doctor about prescription Prilosec. Your results may vary, but for many people, Prilosec provides 24 hours of complete heartburn relief with one daily dose. Ask your doctor for more information about Prilosec and if it's right for you. The most common side effects are headache, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. 24 hours of complete heartburn relief is possible. It's Prilosec time. Shave it off. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's just this dandruff. Well, we can take care of that. Head and shoulders? Unlike regular shampoos, Head and Shoulders helps prevent flakes before they start. Glad I didn't do something stupid like shave my head. Head and shoulders. New Colgate Total Fresh Stripe, the minty fresh gel that keeps working all day. Fighting bad breath, cavities and tartar, even plaque and gingivitis all day long. New Colgate Total Fresh Stripe. It works between brushings. This season, I am showing my commitment to fight breast cancer. For Concept Cure, I designed this Chevrolet Cavalier. You can win. Call and enter. Because there is nothing stylish about breast cancer. You know it makes me want to shout. 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 New Shout now has more tough stain fighters than ever. gets out more tough stains, better than spray and wash, in just one try. Want more tough stains out the first time? Shout them out. SC Johnson, a family company. Victoria's Secret introduces Earth Angel. Angel. It's only at Victoria's Secret. Where do you go to get the best selection of Ford quality certified used trucks? Dave Dinger Ford and Braintree, that's where. Every used pickup, van, Explorer, and Expedition is clearly posted with our lowest price. All with the Ford Motor Company one year, 12,000 mile warranty. It's the best price policy at Dave Dinger Ford today. I'm a Dinger, do it. Excuse me, uh, there's something I need to check out. Charlie, I think what Lila was trying to say... Why don't you let me talk to her? Give us a few minutes, okay? Okay. I'll be back in a few. I see you went shopping. Yeah. Can I peek? 
Oh, boy, I like the lace. Did you get it at that little store on Gerard Street? Yeah. It was kind of weird, because I'd never bought any before, but the lady was really nice. But Anne went with you. Yeah, but I think I'm going to need some more, so you can come with me next time. Sweetheart, I'd really love that. I really would. Well, I guess it's kind of weird with Anne around, because she looks so much like my mom. But the thing is, I know she isn't, and my dad does too. Sweetheart, I do too. I do. Even though it didn't seem like it today. But when you marry my dad, you'll be my mom, so I won't need another one. Oh, Charlie. I'm the one that's supposed to be saying the right things to you, and here you are saying them to me. Well, I just don't think you should worry about Anne, that's all. I don't know why having her around sort of helps me, but it does. And I think it helps my dad, too. But I know that if you don't want her around, dad will tell her to go. But that's not what you want, is it? Come on. Tell me what you want. I guess... I guess I want you to say it's okay for her to stay. Oh, Charlie. You bet it is. Oh, you are awesome. Well, I try, okay, I try. Mm -hmm. Oh, sweetheart. I'm gonna go find your daddy, okay? Okay. All right. I'll just delete all the files on his computer. Ah. Just kidding. Uh huh. Just kidding. Better be. <laughs> Brace yourself, Miss O'Donnell, because you and I have got to get a few things straight. What's up with the stiff breeze all of a sudden? I don't know. It's about as much sense as this old lock. Never seen anything like it. Me neither. We gotta get in somehow. Well, you're not gonna get in there without a key. Ta-da! Hey. This is the master key that opens any lock on the estate. You can do the honors. Thank you. <coughs> what, you got it or what? The key's stuck. Now it won't budge. It's supposed to work. There's something screwy about this lock. There's something weird about this whole place. I gotta find out what it is. You're not. No, you're not. We're getting help. I don't want anybody hurt. Yes, but that's exactly what's gonna happen to Amanda if we don't find out what's going on. Yeah, We're right. running out of time. I can feel it. Yeah, I agree. At least she's safe now back at the house, asleep. I mean, the only thing she has to worry about is another bad dream. No, the worst thing that can happen is that one of those bad dreams is gonna come true. I want to make a promise to you. We are going to get through this thing together. And if anyone, especially Cameron or Jordan Stark, tries to hurt you or interfere with your life in any way, I'm going to make them pay. How can you fight someone like Jordan Stark? He's, he's dangerous in ways that I can't, I can't even imagine. Don't worry. I know how to handle him. Amanda? I've just, I've never heard you speak so forcefully before. <laughs> well, it's a side I don't show very often. I only show it when I'm inspired. What inspires you? Amanda, if you haven't figured that out by now, I haven't made myself very clear. And it's time I did. What life dishes out The way it leaves you without a doubt Kitchen aid for the way it's made For the way it whispers when you're near The way it lasts year after year The new KitchenAid dishwasher for the way it looks And the way you live For the number one selling premium dishwashers Kitchen aid for the way it's made For 50 years 
Not yet. Hi, boy. Hi. Still not. Nope. Getting warmer. Now it's official. It's not really summer till you have your ballpark. Only ballpark franks have such a big, juicy taste. They plump when you cook them. Don't you just love summer? One of these women uses suave ultra-dry antiperspirant. The other uses secret ultra-dry. Both are using a revolutionary form of dryness protection. Both feel cool and confident. So who uses suave ultra-dry? And who spends a lot more on secret? If you can't tell, why should we? Suave, don't you look smart. My hair just got two Bs and an E. I shampooed with Vitavive by L'Oreal. The power of vitamins is amazing. L'Oreal's multivitamin formula has two Bs and an E. It's a high potency drink for the strength of your hair. I take my Vitavive, I get healthy hair with tons of strength, energy, and shine. Vitavive by L'Oreal. This hair, it's an A plus, and I'm worth it. This is the revolutionary Oral-B Cross-Action Toothbrush. Its unique crisscross bristles penetrate to lift out and sweep away more plaque than any other brush. And clinical tests prove it. The new Cross-Action from Oral-B. How do you get healthy hair like this? Hair with this sheen and body? Feature dark pedigree. With champion skin and coat system in every can and bag. Pedigree. Developed with vets. Recommended by top breeders. Yeah, I mean, there's got to be something we can do. No, there's something we're missing. Some piece of information we can't see right now. We're just spinning our wheels. So if you don't mind me, I'm going to let my fingers do the thinking for a while. Let's go find a locksmith. You know something you're not telling me. didn't sleep last night? No wonder you're tired. You haven't slept well in weeks. Listen, why don't you, uh, why don't you lie down? Make yourself comfortable. Mm. No, no. Never. safe without you here. I'm all to you, honey bun. If you think you can carpet bag your way into our lives, you can just forget it. 
because I'm watching you, Miss Ann O'Donnell, and I am waiting for you to slip up. Hey. Hey, Charlie, I got a great idea. Why don't we, uh... I'll get something to eat, someplace nice with tablecloths and everything. I would love that. I bet you, huh? Sure. Would you like to come, too? Um, I'd love to, but I have a few loose ends I need to tie up. Oh, well, thank you for taking me shopping. Oh, it's great. My pleasure. Anytime. Thanks, Anne. <sighs> Cast is here so much better than you, honey bun. And that's exactly what he's gonna get. Tomorrow on Another World. Are you willing to take responsibility for your sister? If you're gonna let that lunatic back on the streets, then you're crazier than she is. Then what are you gonna do? Give it to me straight. How much can she hurt us? And how much is her silence really worth? Paulina, you're in big trouble. The least of which is a murder rap. Should be a lot better if you weren't busting her for forgery. We never should have trusted that kid. You didn't trust him. I didn't trust him. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Man, the first time I looked at a picture of me, I was like, wow, wait, what happened? I was fat. I lost over 50 pounds on a slim, fast plant. I finally found something that worked for me. It's easy. It tastes great. Once I lost the weight, my energy skyrocketed right through the roof. It makes you feel good after working out. 23 vitamins and minerals, protein, calcium, fiber, all the balanced nutrition like a healthy meal. I look at life totally different now. Slim Fast, every day. Balanced nutrition for a healthy life. Anybody can do it if I can do it. Around here, it's not every day we all get together. We're making them dinner. Come on, you guys. But when we do, it's great that the folks at Kraft make Italian. I love this stuff. Because it's the one thing we agree on. That way, we can talk about what's on our minds instead of what's on our plates. Whose idea was this? Well, Kayla has a boyfriend. I guess they just know what we like. A what? He's a senior. He's a senior. Around here, the dressing is Kraft. For something different, try one of Kraft's new vinaigrettes. L'Oreal Kids. Styling gel. L'Oreal. Need hair. L'Oreal. No cowlicks, no bed hair. L'Oreal Kids. Looking good. <laughs> L'Oreal Kids Styling Gel. Because we're worth it too. I'm here with an exciting medical announcement. Doctors have learned that Monistat One keeps working for days to cure a yeast infection. Monistat One. One dose. From the number one doctor recommended brand. Last we heard, everything was still up in the air. Dateline Tuesday, their homes were robbed. I couldn't even cry, I was just in shock. Now, brazen criminals sell their goods, but we've got the goods on them. Never been on network television before? Dateline. Dateline. The tricks of their trade. A new Dateline hidden camera investigation. Tuesday, 10, 9 central on NBC.